Hi guys, welcome to the next video of the Stuster tutorial series. In the last video, we started talking about the type conversion from the HTML input parameters to the data type of the action class, and we saw that it happens automatically and seamlessly. Now, in this video, we will see how we can create our own custom type converter. Now, there could be some situation where the built-in type converters are not adequate for our member type. Now suppose if we have some user defined type in our class member variable then the built in type converters won't be able to know how to convert the input parameters coming in to our data type. Now in that case we might need a custom type converter and tell struts to use that type converter to convert the incoming field to our type. Now there could be a situation like if you take the date field, now struts2 can convert the date input parameter to the date type, but there is some restriction. Now it can do the conversion only if the input parameter follows a certain pattern based on their locale. So in our case, it can support only the mm slash dd slash yy date pattern in the input parameter, and it will be able to convert this input to our date object, but Suppose our requirement is to support the date in mm-gd-yy format. Now if we try to give this pattern with the existing type converter, then we are going to get error. So in this scenario, it requires a custom type converter to support this type of pattern for the date field. In this video, we will work on this date field to support the mm-gd-yy pattern. So for this, we will write our own custom type converter. Now what we will do, we will enhance the join date action which we created in the last video for the type conversion example. Now here we have two actions join date and submit join date. Now join date action brings us the join date.jsp and in this JSP we have one form which takes one input field joining date. Now once we provide this joining date here in this field and submit this form then it submits the submit join date action and this submit join date action calls the submit join date class which is our action class and this action class has one join date member variable this one and this member variable is corresponding to the join date field in the join date dot jsp and we can see that this is a a date field so there is some kind of conversion type conversion happening now I've already run this join date action I've got this join date.jsp here we can provide the joining date here so first let's see what happens when we provide the date in mm-dd-yy format so suppose if we give like this okay so we got the error as the joining date is expected in a proper format now this error we have already configured in our properties file. So clearly we can see that our date field is not supporting this pattern. So now let's see how we can write our own custom type converter to support this type of date pattern. Now for writing a custom type converter we must implement the type converter interface. Now Strust has provided two implementation classes which we can extend to write our own type converters and they are default type converter and struts type converter. The type converter interface has only one method convert value. Now this method takes five parameters and it's very difficult to implement this method. So struts has provided one convenient class called as default type converter which implements this convert value method and then it actually calls its own convert value method with only two arguments. The first argument is the value of the input element and second argument is the type to which we need to convert. For a custom converter to work properly a converter should at least support two type conversions one from string to another type and another from the type to the string. For instance for our join date field we should have a converter which can convert string to date and date back to the string. Now let's create one class my date converter. So 
let's create a converter package here and here we'll create one class my date converter let's make it capital now let it extend from default type converter okay now let's override its convert value method let's override this method convert value now in this convert value method we need to handle both the scenarios of converting the string to our desired type and from our data type to the string type for this the code would be something like this this is the destination type and this is the value so if do type equals to string dot class so here we'll have the logic to convert from date to string else if to type equals to date dot class so here we'll have the code to convert the string to date and then we can return the result okay so this is the approach we are going to take here but you can see that this approach doesn't look very good and hence I'm not actually implementing it now struts has provided one more class called struts type converter and that separates these two type conversions into two different methods and these are actually two abstract methods that we need to override when we extend it from the struts type converter class and their names are actually convert from string and convert to string now convert from string will convert the input parameters into the action class fields and convert to string will convert the action class fields to the string type which can be shown to the HTML or the GSP page now let's modify our MyDate converter class to extend from struts type converter Remove this method. Okay, now let's override the methods here. We must override these two methods. One is convert from string, and one is convert to string. Okay, now if you see this method, in this method the input parameters will come in this arg1 string array, and here will be the destination type. So, what we are going to do is we are going to extract the month, day, year fields based on the hyphen delimiter using the split command from this array and then okay let's do the coding first
Okay, so what we are doing here that we are extracting the month, day and year from the field array using the delimiter hyphen with the split method and then we are passing this month, day and year in the calendar object and then getting the date object from the calendar object and then we are returning that date object here. So in effect our date input parameters with hyphen will now be converted to a date object by our convert from string method in the my date converter class. Now let's do the second type conversion. This is convert to string. Let's do the coding here. Okay, this this arg1 will have the date object coming in which we need to convert to the string. First get the date object type cast it to date. Didn't get the calendar instance. Okay, so in this method, we are converting the date object, which is coming in this parameter, to the string object. So if some JSP is accessing our class member variable using the property tag, then this type conversion from the date object to the string object will be used. Now in this method, the arg1 is containing the date object which we need to convert. Now what we are doing is we are getting the calendar object and then we are initializing our date object into this calendar object using this set time method and then we are retrieving separate parts of our date using the constants in this calendar.month and calendar.day of month and calendar.year and then we are just uh, putting hyphen between them and uh, returning that string so this is the way the date object will be converted to a string object and uh, it will be shown actually in the JSP whenever we use the property tag to access our date field. Okay, now our MyDate Converter class is ready. We have these two methods implemented. Now one more thing is remaining that we need to tell Stats to use this converter class for our join date field in the submit join date action class. Now for this what we need to do is provide one properties file for our action class with the name as the action class name hyphen conversion dot properties so for our submit join date action it will be submit join date hyphen conversion dot properties now let's create this file first now this file should be present in the same directory where the action class is present Often conversion dot 
properties. Now in the properties file we need to mention for which field which converter to use and since we are providing the converter for the join date field then in the properties file we will be putting something like this join date equals here we need to give the fully qualified uh, converter class name so Okay, now when the struts sees that there is one conversion properties file existing for our action class, then it uses that file to find out the converter to use for each of its fields. And then it calls the conversion methods of the converter class where the actual conversion is happening. So first it will call the conversion from string which will return the date object which will be stored in the class members join date variable here. Then later when we want to display that date in the JSP, then it calls the other method convert to string and displays it in the browser. Now let's build this project and run it on the server. Let's test it out. Okay, now let's hit this one more time. give the date in this format and then submit okay so we are getting some problem here I think in this state converter this minus one is not required Let's remove this build this again okay let's go back run this again okay zero one zero two and submit okay so now it's giving the correct value here that means that we are able to convert our input date to the date object correctly and if you see here in the success page also we are able to retrieve the date in our JSP correctly now one thing to note is that the conversion is done by the params interceptor while the error messages are added by the conversion error interceptor so this is the way we write our own type converter and this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. We will see some more stuff of the Stars 2 tutorial series in the next video. Thanks for watching.